Recently, there has been an announcement of a new preview of a fleet ID for a Kotlin multi-platform support. It brings some uh, quite interesting features for us developers, actually. The main thing that caught my attention was the ability to code natively on both Android and iOS without uh, switching a development environment. Of course, you are still going to need uh, Xcode for an iOS simulator and uh, Android emulator, but still, it's a great news. At the time of recording this video, JetBrains fleet is uh, free to use during this uh, public preview. But, since this is a commercial product, we can expect it to become paid in the future. I just hope that the pricing will be reasonable as well. Upon opening a multi-platform project in a fleet, it automatically creates a run configurations for both Android and iOS. Which means, you can start testing your application right from the start. When editing in Kotlin, Swift or even Java, Fleet ensures a consistent and feature-rich experience enhanced with full support for Xcode projects. You can try show usage as action on a Kotlin function and a Swift invocations will immediately appear in the result. You can refactor your code and propagate the changes across both Kotlin and Swift modules as well. Fleet is not designed to replace or replicate JetBrains' existing IDEs. The main idea behind Fleet is to give developers a new experience with a smart polyglot tool and the workflows such as distributed and collaborative development and the use of a generative AI for coding. Oh, and one more thing, there is a new project generator wizard that is available on kmp.jetbrains.com. It allows you to easily generate a Kotlin multi-platform project for various platforms or targets. You just mark which one you want and then click a button. As simple as that. Bottom line, Fleet aims to eliminate the need for switching between multiple different development environments so that you can focus on what's important, and that is the code of course. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this IDE, have you tried it before and what's your overall experience with it as well. Of course, be sure to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.